Good day, guys. How are you all doing? I hope you're well. My name is Paz. I'm a DJ producer from Nottingham, England. And I started this reaction channel six months ago on the back of this video. Ren, hi Ren, which dropped about 12 months ago. Yeah, changed my life. So we're going to jump straight into it. This is the first time I'm ever doing a reaction to this video because obviously I'd seen this video before I started the reaction channel, so I've never actually done this on YouTube yet. But with it being one year on and I'm seeing other people do this, I thought I'd jump into it. Just to let you know, the last time I clicked on this video, it had 8 million plays. And it's currently at 23 million plays. Wow. Just wow. I'm so nervous about doing this. I've got no idea what I'm going to say, obviously. I've got no script, no planning. I never do. So let's press play, jump into this and see where we go. Cannot wait to check this out. It's been so long. Let's go. I'm going to tell you right now, the first time I checked this out, it was on a friend's Facebook page and she just put something like incredible talent. I clicked on it. I listened to it. I heard this bit. I thought, yeah, this, this isn't for me. I'm not going to enjoy this. And I'll, I'll be honest, when I went through the track, I don't think I soaked it up. I don't really think I took it in. I think there was too much going on. I just thought, yeah, brilliant skills, brilliant talent, but yeah, whatever. And it was months that went by before I had feeds on my YouTube channel show me reaction videos. And that is when I first soaked this up. I clicked on some woman's reaction video. I still don't know who it is, but she was in tears watching it. And the way she explained it just opened it up into new levels for me. And yeah, then I went on the reaction channel journey and couldn't stop watching these guys reacting to this video. And that's exactly what made me start so I could react to all the other Ren tracks genuinely for the first time. And uh, yeah, it's been an absolute blast, guys. So thank you very much. All right, let's stop waffling and get into this. Hi, Bren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself since my therapist told me I'm ill. And I've been making some progress lately. And I've learned some new coping skills. So I haven't really needed you much, man. I think we need to just step back and chill. After seeing this for the first time, I was instantly thinking, what the hell is going on with this guy? I didn't quite soak up at first that it was sort of the devil on his shoulder or the the voice in his head open skills so i haven't really needed you much man i think we need to just step back and chill ren you sound more insane than i do you think that those doctors are really there to guide you been through this a million times your civilian mind is so perfect to always being lied to okay take another pill boy drown yourself in the sound of white noise follow this 10-step program rejoice all your problems will be gone fucking dumb boy nah mate and I think at that line, you're thinking, wow, does this guy like the system? Does he hate the system? It's clearly 
the voice in his head saying, yeah, this is all just the same old rubbish, mate. Follow the 10 step program and everything will be fine. <laughs> yeah, mate. Follow this 10 step program, rejoice, all your problems will be gone. Fucking dumb boy. Nah, mate, this time is different, man. Trust me. I feel like things might be falling in place. And my music's been kind of doing bits too. Like I actually might do something great. And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered for doing something special with myself. That's why I don't think that we should talk, man. Cause when you're with me, it never seems to help. You think that you can amputate me? I am you, you are me, you are I, I am we, we are one. Split in two, that makes one, so you see. You gotta kill you if you wanna kill me. I'm not left over dinner, I'm not scraps on the side. Oh, your music is thriving, delusional guy. Where's your top 10 hit? Where's your interview with Oprah? Where are your Grammys, Ren? Nowhere. Yeah, but my music's not commercial like that. I never chase numbers, statistics or stats. I never... What a quality line that is. My music's not commercial like that. I never chase numbers, statistics, or stats. Absolute bars. There's so many of them in this track. What a songwriter this guy is. But my music's not commercial like that. I never chase numbers, statistics, or stats. I never write hooks for the radio. They never even play me, so why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connected, and the people who find it respect it. And that line, I, I made the wife listen to this part, and I said, listen to that line, that's just genius. The people that find it respect it, and that's all that matters. And we've definitely found you now, Red. <laughs> You've gone to the stars, my friend. Statistics or stats, I never write hooks for the radio, they never even play me, so why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connected, and the people who find it respect it. And for me, that's enough, because this life's been tough, so it gives me a purpose I can rest in. Man, you sound so pretentious. Ren, your music is so self-centered. No one wants to hear another song about how much you hate yourself. Trust me. You should be so lucky Having me inside you to guide you, remind you To manage expectations, provide you perspective That thing you neglect it, I get it You wanna be a big deal, next Jimi Hendrix, forget it Man, it's not like that Man, it's just like that, I'm inside you, you twat No, it's not, man, you're wrong, when I write, I belong Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius He wants to write a song that was not done previous A battle with his subconscious, Eminem did it Played on guitar, Plan B did it I think that's a point where a lot of us go, ooh, ooh I realise what's going on now. He's, uh, he's communicating with himself. It's the voice in his head. It's the devil on his shoulder. Yeah, and obviously this song's a little bit deeper than their versions, I would suggest, because, yeah, he goes way deeper into this than they ever did. All by acknowledging this song. Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius. He wants to write a song that was not done previous. A battle with his subconscious, Eminem did it. Played on guitar, Plan B did it. Man, you're not original, you criminal rip off artist. The pinnacle of your success is stealing other people's material. Ren, mate, we've heard it all before. Oh, she sells seashells on the seashore. Obviously, the first time hearing that, you've got no idea what the she sells seashells on the seashore actually represents at the time. If you were first time listening to Ren like I was, it just sounded like like an edit where you just put a sort of a random sample or snippet in the track just to break it up a bit. That's what I felt originally. Oh, it's just a random sort of nursery rhyme thrown in there. But you actually understand it's a bit more meaningful than that. Fuck you, I don't need you, I don't need to hear this Cause I'm fine by myself, I'm a genius And I will be great, and I will make waves And I'll shake up the whole world beneath us That's right, speak your truth, you You will make waves, Ren, and those waves will rise and lift all ships As we know, mate, you are a legend And this song, thankfully, has taken you right to the top you. I don't need you, I don't need to hear this Cause I'm fine by myself, I'm a genius And I will be great, and I will make waves And I'll shake up the whole world beneath us That's right, speak your truth, your fucking god complex leaks out of you It's refreshing to ask for you, say it, instead of downplay it uh, music is all about the creative process And if people can find something to relate to within that Then that's just a bonus Fuck you, I'ma fucking kill you, Ren Well, fucking kill me then, let's fucking have you, Ren I'ma do it, watch me prove it Who are you to doubt my music? Cause I call the shots, I choose if you die Yeah, I call the shots and so I choose who survives I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside This part's epic, isn't it? It just oh, goes on to another level Obviously, we all know about the flashing lights When he's on his... Uh, on his on his bad side it's flashing away but one of the things that that i noticed was the smaller light was cast in the larger shadow and i believe he harps onto that a bit later in the track and so i choose who survives i'll tie you up in knots when i lock you inside <sighs> news flash 
I was created at the dawn of creation. I am temptation. I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason. Beheading all kings, I am sin, with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning, Lucifer, Antichrist, father of lies. Mustopheles, truth in the blender, deceitful pretender, the banished avenger, the righteous surrender. When standing in front of my solar eclipse, my name is stitched to your lips. So you see, I won't bow to the will of a mortal, feeble and normal. You wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision that catalyzes chaos that causes division. I live inside death, the beginning of end. I am you, you are me, I am you, friend. The angst, the anger, the power you feel in that part there is is palpable. It's one of the most powerful videos I've ever watched, and the way he comes across in this live performance is like nobody I've ever seen before, and I don't think we'll ever see again. This is one special performance. <laughs> some time to be distant I've been taking some time to be still I've been taking some time to be by myself and I've spent half my life ill but just as sure as the tide starts turning just as sure as the night has dawn just as sure as the rain falls soon runs dry when you stand in an eye of a storm I was made to be tested and twisted I was made to be broken and beat I was made by his hand it's all part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet and you know me, my will is eternal And you know me, you've met me before Face to face with a beast, I will rise from the east And I'll settle on the ocean floor And I go by many names also Some people know me as hope Some people know me as the voice that you hear When you loosen the noose on the rope That line there Some people know me as the voice that you hear When you loosen the noose on the rope that is so powerful because obviously <laughs> you need to have been to that point to understand that lyric properly because yeah you get to the point where you're about to jump off the chair you're about to do the ultimate and there's a voice that says hold on mate there's something more here there's hope come on let's do this what a line what a song the ending to this whoa, gives me goosebumps just thinking about it. Some people know me as the voice that you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope. And you know how I know that I'll prosper? Because I stand here beside you today. I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain and I didn't once flinch your shade. So cower at the man I've become when I sing from the top of my lungs. That I won't retire, I'll stand in your fire, inspire that me to be strong. And when I am gone, I will rise In the music that I left behind Ferocious, persistent, immortal like you We're a to different sides When I was 17 years old, I shouted out into an empty room, into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences. When I first heard that, I thought there was a young man that was screaming into a padded cell that I wanna, I wanna fight the, the evil. And then the next 10 years suffered the consequences. I literally thought he'd, he'd, he'd been locked up He'd been sectioned for 10 years. That's what I thought that initially meant, which, wow. 
forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences with autoimmunity, illness, and psychosis. As I got older, I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare, but there were victims and there were students. It wasn't David versus Goliath, it was a pendulum. What's that line mean? There were victims and there were students. I never understand the students bit, if someone could just enlighten me a little bit on that line. As I got older, I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare, but there were victims and there were students. It wasn't David versus Goliath, it was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. Now that I fully understand now, at the time again I didn't, but the battle with the demons is constant and I'm guessing that's exactly what he means, there's never, it's never over, it's never done. When it's the voice in your head, it's not going anywhere. You've just got to learn to dance with it. Dance with the devil, as they say. And there were students. It wasn't David versus Goliath. It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal dance. And like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older, and I learned to relax. And I learned to soften, and that dance got easier. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from gods. And I must not forget we must not forget that we are human beings. I think it's safe to say that's going to go down as one of the performances of modern time from a young Mr. Ren Gill because how real, how raw, how emotional, how powerful, how physical that video and that song is. Well, you can see why it's hit 28 million people. This has touched the hearts, the souls, the minds of so many people. And the battle is endless, isn't it? The battle with, with your confidence, with your with your inner demons, with your addictions, whatever it is, whatever it may be. We're all battling with it, but we've all got our own thing going on. It's why you've got you've to look up to people, you've got to respect people, you've got to give people the dignity that they deserve. We're, we're all so quick to snap and to remark at others, but everybody's got the same things going on. Just you've got to learn to lighten up, you've got to learn to love. And that's definitely what comes across from Ren's music. You've got to learn to love each other. You've definitely got to learn to support each other. Because there's a lot of people out there struggling and struggling on their own. As we've heard with Joe, the very good friend of Ren, that sadly ended his days on that bridge one night. And yeah, that's what it can come to if you don't reach out, you don't speak to somebody. So hopefully Ren has inspired a hell of a lot of people to do just that. Let's hope so. Guys, thank you very much for checking this one out. I've been so nervous about doing this one. I've probably put it off for the nerves. Exactly what they're saying, the voice in my head saying, no, you can't do this one, you can't do that one. It's such a big, powerful record. And trying to react to it after I've actually seen it is, uh, yeah, it's different. So I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any recommendations on where to go next, if you've got any details about this track, please do hit me up down below. As always, guys, thank you once again for all the support on the channel. Big love, big respect. I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace, love, I'm out of here. I hope you have a great day. And a happy new year to you all. I hope you had a great Christmas and wish you all the very best for 2024. Cheers.